And we're back with some more oxygen not included. And today we're going to try something a little different. It's going to be called the mini base. This is a mod you can download off the Steam Workshop. For our three starting dupes, I'm going with a slightly different selection than normal. Normally I do two diggers, one researcher, but I'm doing only one digger because we're not going to have a lot to dig in this map, I think. And I went with a rancher because, well, I think ranching will... I'm not sure if it will be important, but I'd rather have one and not need them than need them and not have them. Uh, this will be called Baby Base, and we've named our, our digger as Mando, our researcher as Baby Yoda, and Quill as our rancher. Uh, let's start this up and have a quick look and see what our starting base is going to look like. Now, one thing you'll notice is we can see an awful lot of the map immediately. That's because you can see the entire map immediately. If we just zoom out a bit there, that's your entire play map. And then you have to try and survive inside this and get to sustainability. Um, well, we've got a we've got something over there, and we've got something over there. So hopefully, hopefully one of those is a water source. If one of those is not a water source, we could be in a lot of trouble. Uh, then then here you've got your magma biome, which is thankfully is that a bit like. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, the abyss light layer seems to be intact, so we should be okay on that front. And up here we have our vents out into space. So I suppose the plan is we need to make a base inside here. All right, after looking around for a bit, this is this is going to be really interesting. My first thought was, right, we'll just get water and start up as normal. And I started to dig over here. And then I realized, yeah, we can't do that because... There is some things in the way. There's going to be granite and random assortments of rocks and minerals in the way that you can't dig yet because, well, you just don't have the, the capacity to dig them. And unlike your normal starting biome, there's just a, a random mix and assortment of things everywhere. Like we have iron ore, we have gold amalgam, we have sedimentary rock, we have fossil, we have algae, we have everything. Everything and anything that could possibly be there. One thing that's definitely missing, though, is there's no oil. There, there is no oil, no oil biome, so to speak of, so there's no plastic. Which means to get plastic, we're going to need Drecos. That means we're also going to need dirt, because we're going to need to field the meat wood to turn them into plastic Drecos to get ourselves plastic. Because we need plastic to build steam turbines. Without steam turbines, we don't have heat deletion. Without heat deletion, yeah, we die. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, I think we're going to have to sort of dig down here. I'm going to have to work around the hard rocks until we get our hands on better digging tech. Which... That's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. All right, we'll do a little bit of digging this way and see if we can't uh, get ourselves in at least a water pump to start. Bit of a quick check here. We've got plenty of space down here we can work with. We've got a bunch of space across here we can work with, but I do need somewhere to dump a water tank. I'm thinking, based on where we can dig right now, we'll probably make a water tank here and try and get our, or maybe the water tank over here. Yeah, this is, this is a huge mess. I maybe did not think far enough ahead on this one. Oh yes, and I'm definitely going to cancel all those dig commands. So, liquid pump here, and then we'll throw in the bathrooms down this section. Now, some people have said you don't necessarily need bathrooms immediately. You can always hold off for a few days. Uh, I just don't like dealing with all the polluted water floating around the place. So let's get some bathrooms in here and get ourselves at least the basic setup. That will get us our basic bathrooms, and then if we have time, we'll get the, uh, the cots in as well. Yeah, this is all set to priority six. Then once they're done with that, they'll go over there and do the beds. Oh! Priorities, yes. Uh, Mando's going to be our digger. Uh, we will and our builder. Baby Yoda's going to be our scientist, so we'll downgrade their building and digging. And cool. Hmm, actually, I'm not even sure what, I, what to do with Quill. They're going to be our rancher, definitely, but what are they going to do when they're not ranching? All right, Quill will do ranching as a priority, then building and digging afterwards. We might change that later. Our scientist, Baby Yoda, will be doing researching primarily, and then they will be avoiding building and digging and preferably doing stocking up or uh, stuff like that that needs doing. They should immediately start stocking up those wash basins with water. Yes, perfect, perfect. Uh, once that's the basics is set up, oh, then we got to start panicking. We're going to need to get research underway immediately. The only way we're getting out of this is research. Lots and lots of research. Uh, maybe we should have brought two researchers. Nope, nope, we're committed now. Right, this will be our research station, manual generator, and a couple of batteries. Well, once the doors are done. Uh, we don't quite need the room bonuses just yet, but hey, if we can get them without much effort, why not? Ah! Did you just eat a bunch of germs? Please tell me. Food poisoning. Yeah, great. Mm. I didn't move all the muckroot out of here, did I? That was a mistake. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't at least make the same basic mistakes again and again and again and again and again. Uh, okay, we'll set all those to... Oh, wrong way. 
Hey, we'll, uh, we'll skip this forward a bit. We'll get our research done, and then we're going to have to start oxygen production. Though we do have enough oxalite to keep us going for a while longer. Oh, there goes a piece of oxalite. Oh, one thing that was pointed out to me in the comments, it turns out if you do dig up oxalite, and then I tested it afterwards, it halves the mass, but you still get the same amount of oxygen out of it. So even if you dig up oxalite, you still get the same amount of oxygen. The only difference is it emits less oxygen. Well, it doesn't emit the oxygen as quickly when you dig it up. So it's, it's just slower about giving off that oxygen, but it will give you the same amount in the end. Well, with our research completed, uh, though we're going to need some battery charge. Yeah, once we've got our research up and running, it's time to go straight into... Ooh, that's way too close. Whoop, nope, nope. That research screen, way too wonky. Hmm, what do we want to get into immediately? I'm thinking... Yeah, we'll go. We'll stick with our normal strategy and go straight into meal prep. Then we're probably going to have to go for internal combustion. How's our food calories looking? Yeah, we're much slower on the digging because of all of the rocks that are in the way. We definitely need to get hard digging as soon as possible. While we do the research... What we're going to do in the back, while all that research is going on, we are going to excavate the, as much of the map as we possibly can. Oh, wait. Except for that. Um, and maybe that and that and that. We don't want to let that water out of there just yet. We're going to need to build a water tank before we do that. But in the meantime, I want to figure out a way to excavate as much of the map as possible without hard digging so our diggers or our builders can our diggers can actually get more skill and hopefully get up the skill points necessary that we can get them into hard digging. Once we get uh, hard digging, we should be able to just demolish everything and then we'll know a lot better where we stand. Oh, and I want to go over here as well and find out what's in that uh, geyser and probably over here as well to find out what's in that geyser. Until we know how much how much renewable resources we've got, we're at a huge disadvantage. After a hard day's work, we've almost got to one of these. I need to do a little bit of uh, careful digging here so we don't accidentally flood the place. But we should be able to find out what's over there. And with a little bit of careful digging, we can find out what's over here as well. Uh, let's do some more. This feels so weird having to be being so confined to all the digging. Oh, research-wise, what have we got completed? Oh, we only got the first level. We need the second one before we can put in the meal prep. Oh, duplicate choices. Let's see what we got. Wow, how do you get... Okay, I must have altered this because I've never seen you get three care packages before. Igneous rock, mealwood seeds, briar seeds. Ooh, a farmer might be... Mm -hmm. So I have been thinking hard about this. If we get a farmer, we will probably need a farmer on this map. There's no way around it. We need a renewable source of water and a way to farm because we can't live on hatches for very long. There's just not enough raw material to do it. So we will have to switch over to farming at some point, one way or another. So, yeah. Let us welcome IG-11 to the team. And to make things so much simpler to ourselves, we'll have to skill scrub them later. But instead of putting them into farming, they're going straight into hard digging. That means we can now excavate things pretty much as much as we like. Oh, we should make sure their priorities are set correctly as well. We want them straight into... They're going to prefer digging over everything else. I, I don't like doing that because if you... When you have buildings queued up, this can mess with things and make them very inefficient. But so long as they're just dedicated to digging, I think this might work. Hmm. Eh. Let me get some plans together. One of the first things we're going to need to do is get a bed for IG-11. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Uh, once we've got a bed for them... Oh, and scheduling. I set it to scheduling, so Quill and IG-11 are on one team, and Mando and Baby Yoda are on another. And then that, that leaves the default schedule open for whatever people we may hire in future, though I don't think we'll be hiring a lot considering the size of the map. I wonder how many we could fit in here. Ooh, we'll find out when we get down to these and find out how much water we've got access to. Our next research project is going to be supercomputers. Normally I would get coal and batteries, but this map's too tiny. I'm worried about uh, carbon dioxide becoming a problem before we can find a solution to it. We don't have a lot of space to dump our carbon dioxide waste. Though I suppose we can dump things into space once we get level 3 digging, but that's that's still a long way away. Oh, and because that's done, we can just dig straight through there now. Couldn't dig through there before because of the we didn't have the hard digging requirements. Mm, soon though, soon. Ah, down here. Let's see, can we mop that up? Nope, nope, we'll have to force that out some other way. And we have found out what's down here. It's a hydrogen vent. That... Hmm, actually that might be useful to us. Later on, when we get into rocketry, like a long, long way from now, we can use that to power our hydrogen rockets. Uh, over here, much better, polluted water vent. That will be our entire water supply, so we're going to have to figure out how much food and oxygen that can provide us with. Uh, once we've analyzed it, I think, I guess our best bet would be to immediately open that up, get ourselves a bit of a water tank going for it, though. I'm not sure how exactly we're going to do that. I can't really make it very deep, it's so close to the bottom of the map. Maybe some liquid pumps? Mm, no, I'm not going to resort to infinite liquid storage. It's very tempting on a map this small, but we're going to have to figure out some way of 
getting a little bit... Mm, might have to resort to infinite liquid storage. Might be the only way with a map this size. Uh, let's, uh, let's finish demolishing the map and see what resources we've got to play with. Now that we've got our uh, advanced research complete, or, well, we have access to the supercomputers, I am going to queue up jumbo batteries. Just because it would be nice to have better power storage than these uh, smaller ones. The smaller ones just have terrible capacity. Which reminds me, we're going to have to... Oh, this is a whole mess in the middle. The inability to dig everything out efficiently at the start is really painful. Here is where we're going to just dig this out, let all the polluted water flow into this tiny little pit. It's... Ugly, and it doesn't look very nice, but it will at least get us started at storing up some of that water. Uh, we only have this pool of water and this pool of water to work with, and once we start electrolyzing them for oxygen when we run out of algae, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to need them. Oh, I'm going to put in some ladder segments there. Ooh, is there... There's some... There's some oxyferns down here, wild ones. Perfect. Huh, how's our food looking? Ooh, our food's going down very quickly. I need to dig faster and find more muckroot. Also, we might want to start planting some mealwood. Ooh, next blueprints choice. Uh, what do we got? I, I don't want someone who's unconstructed. That's just a no-no. We need everyone uh, working as hard as they can. It gives us buddy bud, which gives a nice floral scent stress relief, but we don't need stress relief. Muckroot would be nice about now. The calories are getting kind of low. But joyous seeds do have that very good heat resistance, and they are a great plant. But no, no, no. We'll take the food. We'll play it safe, especially since this is my first time playing a map this confined. Uh, let's uh, let, let's just demolish this whole area. We, demolition needs to happen. This, there's just way too much natural environment still left alive at this stage of the game. All right, bottom layer finished. What I want to do now, though, is get science sorted. We have finished batteries, and we've finished brute for rock crushers for brute force refinement, and now it's time to get straight into ranching. We need that ranching as soon as possible so we can start getting on our way to plastics. Plastics is going to be a bottleneck for a lot of things, so the sooner we can get into ranching, the better. Though, Where are we going to put a ranch in this place? I have... Yeah, this, this is going to get weird, and I'm going to have to design a plastic ranch so that it actually... Mm, we won't have access to Atmos suits for a while. And <laughs> uh, yeah, this this really does make you think a lot more sustainably. Mm, let me think for a minute. Oh, yeah, first things first, we're going to put in some uh, some advanced science facilities right here. Missing research station. Yeah, we, that, we're going to need the uh, advanced science facility before they can finish the research I've assigned them, which is the entire ranching tech tree. Supercomputer installed. Consumable ore wise, how are we looking? Ooh, we actually have 18 tons of coal. No, I think we'll hold that until we get smart batteries before we even think about using coal. Reason being, we just do not have enough renewable resources on this map to even think about being cavalier with our coal supplies. Uh, at the same time, you know what? People are doing nothing, so let's see if we can't find some more of that tasty, tasty muckroot for everyone to chow down on. In fact, why don't we just dig out the whole map? That looks more like it. We'll have plenty of algae and coal after this, though oxygen supplies may go down a bit. Oh, you know, we should maybe make those a little bit of a higher priority to make sure they get done in time, but everything else, everything else can happen as it in due course. It's our first meteor shower, and that's got me thinking, will that abyssalite survive? Huh. Or will it just not get hit? No, yep, the abyssalite can definitely get destroyed. We're going to need to be careful there. We're a long way from bunker tiles. Though I'm pretty sure once the regolith builds up, we'll be fine. Well, we installed some farm tiles here. I... Very optimistically put in 20 because I wanted to make 20 mealwood. Turns out I only had three mealwood seeds. Oops. Uh, I'm going to have to dig some more, I suppose, to find more mealwood. There's at least one up there, and I think there's some wild ones I've left growing around the place. I might have to just dig up the wild ones. I don't think I can wait long enough to get the seeds, especially with the way the calories are going down. Mm. Oh. Uh, another thing as well, skill points have come in at last. So Mando, straight into hard digging. Uh, Quill, you're going to be going straight into ranching, so improved farming it is for you straight up. And Yoda, you're going advanced research immediately so you can use the advanced research station. That way you can get us into uh, ranching. Perfect. All right, and our polluted water storage pit tank is going okay. In fact, a puffed is even over there absorbing all of that and making... Is that making slime? Yeah, that make, might make mushrooms a possibility. Ooh, there's so many options now that I think about it. If you're confined to this size and it actually becomes sort of almost economically viable to do some of the more obscure uh, builds, hmm, I'll have to find out. First up, though, let's just keep excavating. We need more space and more tech. As a little side project, I put a ration box down here, flanked by a couple of uh, oxy ferns, but that should keep it from going off. We're not going to put it up near the 
the mess tables, which would be the most convenient thing, but it's just we don't have the time to put in a proper carbon dioxide pit and everything. We have to make some hard choices. Ooh, a great digger, but oh, we don't really need a lot of diggers, do we? Nutrient bars or omelets? Oh, yeah, we got to go omelets. We, we can't let those omelets pass us by. That's just so many calories. Yeah, we'll take the omelets. Thank you very much. And we will have them immediately stored down here. And what we will make that level six food is going to be vitally important, I think, in this uh, particular scenario. Despite food being vitally important, my intelligence seems to have let me down here. I have left these bunch of Dracos just idly wandering along here in our mealwood farm where they have been chowing down on our mealwood. That's just... Mm. Yes, so smart. So smart. We're going to try and sever this here, capture them away from the mealwood. I have no way of actually wrangling them just yet. It's not even possible. Oh, and we've got more blueprints to choose from. This is actually a really tough choice. Um... The calories are, of course, always great, but we don't have any water weed seeds. It would be nice to get those, but we wouldn't be able to grow them. We'd only have to grow them wild and we'd still need some salt water. You know, we'll take them. We'll take the water weed seeds. At some point, we'll get some salt water and we can use that. Uh, once those uh, Drecos jump to the other side over here, we're going to delete some stuff and uh, hopefully prevent them from... Yeah, go on. You go too. I don't want to kill any of you. I just want you away from my meal, would you little monsters? Uh, well, we'll hopefully wrangle those away from them and they'll stop eating our food and then we can uh, get on with demolishing this map. Our next blueprint is Meep, but they're unconstructive, unfortunately. A care package for coal, dirt, and a shine nymph. You know what? We'll take the dirt, I think. Yeah, I think the dirt is more important. 500 kilos of dirt, that could come in handy later on, especially because we're going to be living on meal wood for a while. Oh, and calorie-wise... We just ran out, didn't we? Hmm. You know, I'm really tempted to just uh, end that Dreco's life because they caused us so much hassle trying to get them into the right position. Uh, also, this hatch has been an annoyance. Uh, this, mm, damn it, we're going to need to recycle something for food, aren't we? After a little thinking, I'm thinking we can get rid of the puffs. Uh, the reason being, they're already old enough that they've laid eggs. We have a, a pufflet prince egg over here belonging to, I think, this puffed. So we can recycle that for food. And then we've got a... Mm, where is the other one? Pufflet egg. Shiny thing. Burr, damn it. Pufflet prince and a pufflet egg. So the pufflet egg over here, I presume, belongs to this one. So we can kill both of those, turn them into meat. Though, mm, do we have anyone who can cook? Nope. No, we do not. We have absolutely zero people who can cook. Uh, looks like they'll be eating that raw, but it should keep us going just long enough until hopefully our first crop comes in. I've managed to wall that Dreco out of eating all our crops again and again and again. At the same time, we do have some hatches over here. So, so we have a couple of hatch eggs. We might be able to recycle a hatch or two. One of these has got to have laid an egg. Well, we've got two hatchling eggs, one there and one over here. So I'm pretty sure one of those laid an egg. You know what? We'll, we'll leave them for now. We'll just survive on the Pufflet Princes and hopefully the mealwood will kick in in time. At the same time, I'm putting out together a skill scrubber. The reason for the skill scrubber is if we look here, IG-11 is about to get their second skill point, at which point if we just throw them into ranching temporarily, we can start wrangling up these critters and get them into places that are not so annoying, like this pip here. Oh my god. I made this area so I could dump all my seeds in here in that storage container. Though unfortunately, the storage container was finished first. I said, oh, dump all the seeds in there. And then just as the doors were going in, the pip came from halfway across the map, hopped inside and went, cool, I could rip all the seeds out of here. Damn pips. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's skip it along a bit. The research for, oh, the research for animal control is done. We just need ranching. In the meantime, let's grab ourselves some smart batteries and we can switch into coal. So close to actually having something sustainable up and running. With smart batteries complete, we can now do some coal generators without wasting too much coal. But that's immediately going to give us a carbon dioxide problem. But we also want plumbing, we want a bunch of other stuff. You know, let's go and immediately get a water sieve. We do have a polluted water vent, so I think a water sieve will always come in handy. We're probably going to get, want to get plumbing after that. We're also going to need a carbon skimmer as well. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of things. Uh, that's why we need to get this research done as soon as possible. These maps, this map is going to be... Mm, a race against not running out of stuff. Oh, and we're also analyzing this vent. We can probably find out eventually how much water it's going to give us. That will be a big determiner of how well this goes. Oh, and would someone open that door and let that pip out? Then we can lock the door once the pip is out of there, probably off planting a seed somewhere and keep all our seeds safe. Oh, how's that going? Oh, perfect, perfect. Just uh, hopefully that hatch won't chow down on all of our mealwood. I think I'm going to move all the animals or all the critters up here. This area up here because most of it's walled in already and it's just uh, not going to waste space. 
What does that look like room size wise? 82 tiles? Okay, it's going to be a bit of a small ranch, but it will do. At least for now to get rid of the critters. Ooh, more resources. What do we got? I think it has to be the, the hatchling. More wild hatchlings, the better. Uh, the salt vine? No, we don't need it. Blair seed, bear seed, we don't need it. And uh, plus seven strength supplying? Not really worth it. If we're going to take on another dupe, it's going to be because they have some decent skills we actually want. All right, let's, uh, oh, excellent. That pip is gone out of there. Let's close that door again immediately, shall we? Just to stop them uh, getting back in and messing with our seed storage or our feature seeds. Oh, come on. You went right back? Ugh. Damn pips. For skills, Mando has actually gotten up uh, another skill point. And I'm thinking super hard digging. We can trim the abyssalite down the bottom, which should be handy. And worst case scenario, we can skill scrub them again. I never ended up skill scrubbing IG-11. Uh, I think I'll just wait till Krill is ready. Once they get that skill point, it shouldn't be hopefully, it hopefully shouldn't be too much longer. We've managed to keep most of the critters out of our crucial areas. Our food is now actually starting to go up because we have enough meal wood. I think, I think we've stabilized, at least for now, until the algae becomes a problem and we start running out of oxygen, we should be okay. Dirt-wise, we've got 78 tons. We've kind of hit a nice stable point right about now. It won't last forever, but it will at least tide us over for a little bit. And what we can do down here is we can check to see what I'm looking for is abyssalite that's too hot. For example, that's 875C. So if any of the water touches that, it will flash it to immediately to steam. We don't want to touch any of that abyssalite, but we can do a little bit of trimming up here and take a little bit off the top. Uh, can we do the same over here? I really would like to get down a bit into this section. Oh, we can. So we could trim everything here. Good go. And wow, we could even trim these two chunks here as well. Though we might want to put in a bit of a ladder segment. That just allows us, uh, it's a little bit more flexibility and gives us a little bit more storage for all our polluted water. In fact, let's see if we can trim this. Right, that'll give us a tiny little bit more space. I can't, I can't believe the little, you're, you're just scraping and clawing for every little bit of advantage you can on a map this size. Definitely changes your perspective quite a bit. While going through this, I realized I have a bunch of algae down here, along with these Paku. Paku have a, a bit of a, a hunger for algae, a massive hunger. We need to get that algae out of there so that they don't, you know, well, eat it all. So we're going to we're gonna try and store a bunch of algae over here to stop them from doing that. Uh, all the seeds have been pretty much swept up and got, uh, gotten in here just to stop. I don't want them, the pips, planting them everywhere. I mean, it can be beneficial in some instances, but for this case, we want all the seeds we can and we're going to control where they go. Uh, blueprint wise... You know what? I think we might want to take this dupe. I mean, okay, I'd prefer not to get Yokel at this stage of the game. Early on, I don't mind it so much, but this stage, we could probably still get away with it. They can cook and they can get supplying the farming we don't care so much about. But yeah, give them cooking and supplying. That means they can become our general dog's body. Hmm. Yes. Please welcome Kara Dune to the colony. They will immediately, of course, need a bed, which means they're going to need to expand this out. And, oh, they're probably going to need a dining table as well. God, the base feels so dinky. Just so dinky right now. Let's uh, prioritize some of this and get it done. I would prefer to have everyone sleeping in their assigned cots and no unhappiness going around. There we go. Uh, Food-wise, we should be fine. The only person allowed to do farming is IG-11. And their skills, agriculture-wise, they have a what 23% seed chance? I thought that was 30%. What happened? Hmm... Never mind. But it still gives us that we have managed to expand our meal without. Though I think we're going to be switching over to bristle blossoms. In between episodes, I'll do a little bit of calculation off screen. But this looks at about three kilos per second we're going to average out at. Which means we could run... We could run this... Run our colony on bristle blossoms. Have about ten dupes, say. Use uh, some of the water for oxygen, some of the water for bristle blossoms. We should be good. And then still have plenty left over for a bit of a rocketry program to... Well, really power down on stuff. Oh, and another thing as well. Uh, down here, you'll notice that it's not just diamond, we've also got steel. There's actually steel down here that we can mine out. So diamond, steel, there's even bits of tungsten. Actual refined metals. Though siphoning the heat out and doing a few things like that, that could be tricky. Hmm. Or maybe we could just scoop up the magma out of the way and get them... No, no. Nope, nope, nope. No. We're, we're going to wait till we've got steam turbines, which means we need to get into plastic. But first, I want to rescue all that algae. So I've set up some sweep containers over here for algae, and we're going to try and sweep all the algae out of here before the fish eat it all. That's our only source of oxygen until we get an electrolyzer up, and we can't get an electrolyzer up realistically until we have some cooling for it, otherwise we'll cook our base. And we can't just survive on hatches because we don't have hatches this game. Mm. Pity. Uh, also, once we, I, 
wonder when we can start getting shovels to the printing pod. If we get some shovels, it would definitely make our life easier. But I think this is a good time to cut out the episode. We've managed to stabilize. We've got a decent su source of food coming in. We've got five dupes. We've got a good water source. Next up will be, research-wise, what have we got left? Oh, we've got that done. Well, I've been very lazy, haven't I? Let's, uh, let's get toilets up and running, actually. Toilets and then into carbon skimming. Oh, and refinement-wise, I might want to churn out some metal. Which one is the most common one we have? Uh, metal ores. We have ooh, 51 tons of iron. You know what? Let's get some iron up and running. Actually, wait, no, gold. Gold amalgam to gold. We'll use that for the battery. So we're going to need about four of those to make the battery. That means the battery won't overheat, even if it goes above 125. And then we'll grab some iron as well. We're going to use that for the wires. Yeah, we'll use that for the automation wires. But that should allow us to do a little smart battery setup and put in coal generators. Oh, I'm still not going to install those until we've got carbon skimmers. I'm too worried about flooding the map with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, baby base and uh, good luck. <laughs>